All right, so uh, this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising. A weekly general tarot reading April 13th to April 19th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is uh, going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and as well um, if you are interested in tarot you want to learn how to read and you do like the way i read um i'm offering a, a tarot tarot classes online tarot classes that is which in them in the live sessions i'm going to explain you about the cards the major arcana specifically in the beginners class and um, how they are interpreting to positive and a negative way in terms of career in terms of relationship and as well um, how they sit into the dedicated spread that can be used only for a reading major arcanas as well six um six weeks sorrow class is that anyway so Moving to the spread of the week straight away now, the first card which stands as the topic of your week, Cancer, that is to be the Tree of uh, Cups, followed by the next one which stands as the energy is feeding and supporting the topic here, we do have the Seven of Swords, followed by the Tree of Wands, which is the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week, followed next, it stands the Gifts and the Blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week, that's a big one though. Uh, we have the page of pentacles moving next it is the impression of the people around what kind of impression they uh, they do have into you and that will be the impression of the king of pentacles and the last one it is the guidance uh, that uh, taro is offering to you that will be the ten of swords okay so um with the guidance um I, it looks like as a um how do you say it? a week that it, or a, a situation a point where your life can be turned around to a certain extent though uh, so hopefully you're gonna get what I am trying to convey here and uh, the first couple of cards which we do have for the topic and the energies are predisposed that you are to be quite well situated throughout the week into your environment in general that is because the energies are pointing that the more the week progresses uh, you are to kind of like find yourself indulging with your own personal stuff or in a sense things that you like things that you want and things that are appearing to be your own agenda and even if uh, you know you are to be deprived in a certain way up until now up until this particular week cancer to indulge yourself with those things you know that you do like that you, that, uh, that, uh, that are your agenda um and in general that you do want to progress with moving forward uh, you are to show a, a pretty strong backbone it's kind of like stepping for your own personal rights and doing it despite the opposition or despite the difficulties which is going to produce a really really good results not to mention that even uh, if it comes to that you can storm just the situation either into your family or into your relationship and ultimately at the end as we do have the three of cups here as the situation you're going to have it the way you want to have it okay in term of career or in term of relationship now the three of cups points to a couple of things first of all it is that everybody around you is going to be subordinate in a sense of that there will be one big cumulative effort that uh, according to the seven of um, swords as the energy is going to be an effort meant to establish your or to manifest to a certain extent your goals and you know it will be focused on your own things and as well the three of cups as a practical interpretation points to results results from the immediate actions okay so whatever you start doing throughout the week for example uh, start searching for a job or uh, you, you know start improving your relationship life and etc etc is going to produce a immediate results uh, if i have to give you an example you start searching for a job and probably in a couple of days you're gonna get a um how can i say it you know a course for an interview probably approvals as well now these are immediate results these are not final results but at least it, it is a something it is a, 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 a how can i say it a, a sign that you are on the right track here by doing something for yourself 
So that's why the week is going to place you in a rather very, very favorable position. Now with the Seven of Swords, uh, the only danger here as it manifests as a uh, energies, it is that you may become over cocky, meaning that, you know, you may kind of like overstay your welcome. It is, uh, it is what I am uh, trying to say. Uh, now with the Three of Cups as well, it's very common that, uh, how can I say, people are going to share your vision. In a sense of that, whatever idea you do have, uh, it simply goes. People are going to see a reason behind it. Uh, and that is one of the reasons why uh, the cumulative is going to unite. It's not like unite, but also is going to play a, is going to place a, a cumulative effort into your things because they will see a reason in for one or another uh, from one or another state. You know, they're also going to see benefit for themselves as well. And finally, from, from you manifesting your things. And finally, what we do have with the Tree of Cups, it is also a shared emotional experience. Meaning that if you are struggling, people are going to feel, you, the people that are around you are going to feel bad. And if you are happy, people around you are going to feel happy as well. So if you are experiencing a good for, fortune, it will be a, a best if you do share that good fortune with the others around you. Moving next, it is the challenges that you will have to overcome. So that card plays a, a very solid question. Okay, so you, as we saw, you are going to start pushing into your agenda, you know, and into your goal, say here, and you're going to have an immediate results. What you're going to do with this progress? That's the question that the Tree of Wands asks you, because the card points that probably at the midst of the week or maybe uh, around the end of the week, you're going to find yourself in a quite solid patterns, meaning, you know, you're going to have a, a, a certain results based on your efforts and on the cumulative effort. So what is that going to be for you? Are you going to use them as a stepping stone and improve on them? Or are you going to satisfy with only those results? That is the challenge here that the Tree of Wands places in front of you and as a challenge the tree of wands points that you should aim to improve on those results so the challenge is to challenge yourself in an in another way to um how can i say it attend to the minor details to the finest details of the situations that are not exactly reciprocal to your expectations because at the end of the day the tree of wands is all about that to have your progress progress exactly the way you want to have it okay so your relationship to completely correspond to your expectations your career as well to completely correspond to your expectations and our expectations always improve and therefore as they always improve as they always become higher and higher okay also we have to challenge ourselves to fulfill those expectations as they move higher and higher until at the end you know we reach to a one whole one finalized product so that is mainly the challenge here with the Tree of Wands to follow your expectations and not to satisfy for a less. If you don't have it the way you want it, there is a way how you can do it. You know, you just need to show, like I said, your strong backbone and stepping for your own rights. And if you do need to, you will have to as well storm your situation, either career wise or either relationship wise. Moving next. Um, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week, Cancer, and that will be the Page of Pentacles. So that is a person uh, quite emotionally connected with you. I would say that if you are friends, that person also has something more than just a friendship. I am saying it because we do have the Tree of, Pent Tree of Cups as well as the situation. And they are quite devoted to your thing, to your well-being, because uh, it falls into the... Uh, into the gifts and the blessings and uh, their purpose throughout this week is to encourage you to follow your goal because they will constantly remind you how much does it worth it okay and as well how much you're gonna gain from it at the end because for the, for the page they're uh, focused on one only one thing because they see an immense potential for growing here as you can see the page is holding here the pentacle and uh, the grass or rather like the the plains under uh, under the page itself are starting to grow simply you know they are still right now a, a petals or rather like a small plants but they are to grow in a uh, plantation for example so whatever the page is encouraging you to do it will be 
or to keep on going with, you know, is going to be your agenda. And so the page is constantly going to make, that person is constantly going to make arguments how much it's worth it and why you have to keep on uh, going with it. And uh, as a uh, collateral thing, once again, is that the page will not be just a friend of yours. It may have a more than just a, a friendship type of connection with you, you know, it may secretly likes you, it may secretly loves you, you know, or may take you as a, a sister or a brother and etc, etc. Just so you know, because the page is very touchy, they are usually with touchy nature and um, at some point they may become annoying. That is a, a common trait with the page of pentacles and they constantly remind you, you gotta go and you gotta do it and, it, and at the end you say, okay, okay, I, I understood, all right, I'm not a dumb. So, uh, yeah, and that could hurt them emotionally, I mean. So it will be a uh, beneficial, not just only for you, but for the, for the whole relationship and for the well-being of the page itself to be a little bit more milder toward that thing. I mean, if it kind of scrapes down your nerves with their constant uh, harping, uh, you just try to have some time alone, okay? Just turn off your phone, put an incognito on your Facebook or whatever so the page doesn't have a contact for a uh, couple of hours, few hours or a, a day with you. And then it is uh, the impression that the people have into you, we do have the King of Pentacles. The impression is pretty simple that you do have so much more to give, okay? and. Uh, but that is just an impression, okay? It may not be true, although I do suspect that it is quite true looking at the previous card, it is that um, the gains from your future efforts are going to be reciprocal to the efforts themselves. And that is why we do have that card as a challenge, that you do have, that you, that you can have the way you want them to have them, okay? But uh, it all will come to that, how much you're willing to invest, because once again, the gains are going to be reciprocal to, uh, to your efforts and to your investment. So if you do want successful business, you got to invest into that business. If you do want a nice and, and harmonious relationship, you got to invest into the relationship. Try to be more harmonious with, with your partner as well. Don't, don't kind of like outburst every time that you don't like something into them. Um, that's the final resort because it's a trait of the seven of uh, swords but just as a, a final resort only if you have to but if you give them love love is what you're gonna get as well at least from the uh king of pentacles as this is what kind of impression the people have and under the people i mean also those closest to you which is family uh partners in marriage partners in relationship business partners and etc etc and the final one, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering. We do have the Ten of Swords. So the whole thing will require from you to be very, very definitive, okay? Uh, when you do something or when you uh, decide about something, you have to be in a such a state that there is like no going back. For example, you decide that your relationship does not follow your agenda and your goal and you just shoot with an ultim ultimatum we either gonna have it the way i see it or we split okay or uh, with with your job or with your project either the project is gonna happen that way or i will take no part of it whatsoever so that is the very um initial fulcrum that the card advises you to jump into uh, or to um, resort to because with the Ten of Swords, while it is a card of an immense uh, risk, it also, once the risk is is over, it kind of like opens a new dawn into one's life, either with the thing or without the thing, because the Ten of Swords is also like a liberation, you know. It may look like a sacrifice, that you're sacrificing one thing over another, but in another, but in reality, you are killing the evil. That That is what the card, I don't know why people are taking it in such a bad way. That's that's what the card is all about. It's that the, the, the evil dies. It may die with, you know, with certain uh, pain that it, it brings to its host. But when you do have a rotten flesh, you got to take it away. And yes, it hurts. But when it's done, you you go, you undergo a healing process. And the good thing with the Ten of Swords is that the healing process is very, very fast. Okay, it takes a couple of days, maybe a week the most. 
but after that you know, when when you think about it back in the day so kind of like when you when you revoke the the memory of it it is just gives you the foundation to of something to laugh about that's that's all with the ten of swords and this narrative specifically so that being said uh, cancer that was your weekly general tarot reading april 13th to april 19 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and as well if you uh, want to learn how to read tarot and you like the way I do it I'm offering a an online tarot classes uh, first the beginners class which is a six week a six weeks a live sessions uh, in which I'm gonna explain the ma the major arcana, how to interpret them in terms of career, in terms of relationship, in terms of negative meaning or a positive meaning and how they stand in a dedicated spread that later you can use only using the major arcanas with it you don't need the rest of it and um, in order to do that also you can find it under the section of eight tarot classes at my website as well so hopefully you're gonna stay safe from that for now and uh, and for the future as well of course and uh, see you next time then bye